Online versus offline compression. So picture a production line sending tens of thousands of sensor values every second. There are only two moments when you can really reduce the data without losing too much information. First moment, right there at the source before the data even reaches your broker or unified namespace. Here, you have no clue what the next sample will be. So you need a real-time rule that decides on the spot whether to publish. OT people often call this report by exception. IT people call a similar idea dead band. Same idea, send the first value and then stay quiet until the reading moves not to matter. A more precise rule, swinging door trending, does exactly the same job, just with fewer flat spots. Second moment, after the data is resting in an historian or time series database. Now the full batch is available, so heavy duty algorithms can scan yesterday, today and tomorrow all in one pass. General codecs like zip or Z standard tighten ordinary log files and databases add their own tricks to squeeze stored chunks even further. Online rules reduce live bandwidth. Offline rules reduce long-term storage bills. Mixing the two is fine. Just be clear which metric you are quoting. Next up, we'll untangle why a thousand to one compression headline often hides a downsampling policy in disguise and how that confusion fuels the classic IT versus OT debate. Stick around.